introductions to pre-stressed concrete. Pre-stressed concrete is a concrete member which is preloaded with compressive stress before the applications of the surface load so as to improve its performance. A typical pre-stressed concrete comprises the concrete element, high strength steel tendon, and also a mechanism to transfer the stress from the tendons to the concrete. This can be done by using the end anchor or through the bonding mechanisms between the tendons and the concrete. Concrete is good in compressions but weak in tensions. Pre-stressing concrete involves the applications of the compressive load prior to applications of the service load and the applications of the compressive load is normally applied while the concrete is immature. The force is applied to the concrete by using the tension steel wire or strength or normally we call it tendon which are anchored against the concrete. The purpose is to eliminate or to limit the tensile stress and the fracture crack in the concrete under the working conditions. Through this, a longer span of the pre-stress member is possible. This also removes the needs of the conventional tension reinforcement. This slide compares the reinforced concrete and the pre-stressed concrete. In principles, steels are embedded in reinforced concrete is to strengthen the concrete while resisting the tensile stress generated in the concrete. As for the pre-stressed concrete, the tendon is used to generate compressive force in the concrete in order to overcome the tensile force generated in the concrete. The design steps between the reinforced concrete and pre-stressed concrete are different. A typical reinforced concrete will start with the design for the ultimate limit stage, which is for the moment and shear, then check for the service limit state and the deflections. As for the pre-stressed concrete, the design start with designing for the service limit state, which you are checking for the cracking and stresses. Then check for the deflections and lastly to check for the ultimate limit states and design for the shear reinforcement at the ultimate limit states. The strength of the reinforcement bar used in the reinforced concrete is typically lower than the pre-stressed concrete. The strength of the tendons is about three times higher than the used in the reinforced concrete. As for the concrete strength, normal strength is popularly used in the reinforced concrete. As for the pre-stressed concrete, higher strength can be used. These figures compares the response of the reinforced concrete and the pre-stressed concrete under loop. Initially, when the member is not loaded, no stress generated in reinforced concrete. Under the uniform load, tension develops at the bottom of the beam while compressions develop on top of the beam. This tension stress causes cracking within the concrete beam, starting from its soffit. The reinforcement bar inside is meant to take the tensile stress in the concrete so as to limit the cracks developed in the concrete. As for the pre-stressed concrete, the response reverse. Before the member is loaded, a compressive stress is applied to the member. This generates a compressive stress 
at the bottom of the beam and tensile stress on top of the beam. And then, when the member is loaded with a UDL, the stress generated in the beam superimposed to the original stress caused by the pre-stressing loop. And this will result the member to remain with more or less no stress within the member. By controlling the amount of stress generated in the member, flexural crack can be avoided and the member can be used to sustain loop at the longer span.